So the Nobel Prize in Physics 2024 has been awarded to John Hopfield and Jeffrey Hinton. And they have gotten the Nobel Prize for their very groundbreaking work on artificial neural networks, what we now call artificial intelligence or AI. So um, what they have done is that they have used uh, models uh, which comes from biology, for example, for how our brain works, the brain in humans or in animals, and built a network which can be used in computers. And it's, it has the same idea as the brain, where a lot of nerve cells, which one then call neurons, are coupled together in a network. And the connection between the different uh, neurons is increasing or decreasing depending on the input and the output. And that is, that is the way your brain works. And the nowadays, uh, artificial intelligence is, of course, used in many, many aspects all around uh, in our daily life. So we all know that there are systems in our cameras or our phones uh, which can help us recognize photos or people in photos. We can recognize uh, music, for example. And all these are methods which are built on artificial intelligence. And uh, one interesting aspect here is that, especially uh, John Hopfield, he was trained as a physicist and worked with materials and magnetism and such things. And there he always worked with models, as physicists very often do. And these models are supposed to be very simple, um, so simple that they just capture the important things, but without any extras. And uh, these type of models are very good when you want to understand how something works. And what he did, what had he started to work uh, on completely different types of, of problems, uh, which has to do with, bi with biology, both with, with proteins, but also in the end with uh, how the mind works. And I think this is a very interesting case, how with deep knowledge in one area, you can look in another angle and then uh, have a very unique capability to find something new. So artificial intelligence can be used in many good ways. I mean, it can be used in science, it can be used just for entertainment, uh, and, in, and there's a lot of artificial intelligence in medicine. But of course, it can also be used uh, in bad ways. And that is uh, something we have to face every time we have a new technique, that it can be used for the good of humankind, but it can also be used to destroy for other people. So the only thing we can uh, try to do is to make our best efforts that new technique is used in as a good way as possible.